Okay, thank you very much. I would like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me here, and uh, I'm impressed with the forum. And I would like to speak about the role of uh, radiation and local treatment in the scenario of metastasis. This is something that is coming new in our specialty and in which we are profoundly involved. Okay, in the last, uh, in the recent years, there have been several models for metastasis in which, okay, in which uh, there have been described different models, a linear progression from one tumor that goes to different place, parallel progression, or a new uh, concept of cell seeding in which some of these metastases can go to the primary and, or can go to a different or create new metastases. So by doing local treatments, we can uh, prevent uh, new metastases, we may uh, interfere with the disease, uh, and sometimes, if we can do it, prolong survival combined it with uh, systemic treatments. So what I'm going to speak today, and I'm, I'm trying to convince you, if we have a primary tumor from different organs or different sites, we have synchronic metastasis or metachronic metastasis. What I want to discuss is in the scenario with synchronic metastasis, what do we do with the primary? Or in the second scenario, when we have metachronic metastasis, what do we do with the metastasis? Do we need to consolidate them? So there is new evidence how metastasis come. The classic theory, it is a subsequential progress in which the tumor sits. But now there are also new um, evidence in which the primary tumor sends information to the soil to disseminate. So it sends, it sends cytokines uh, to the bloodstreams and to the different organs in which what we call these clusters of bone marrow derived cells helps the tumors to seed. Okay, so there is some evidence in which the tumor is helping before the tumor goes to these different organs to, uh, to coloni for this colonization. So if we, in, this, in the case of uh, metastasis, uh, do treatments directly against the primary tumor, we may retard metastasis and possibly prolong survival. So this is something that is coming new. And at the present time, there is no local treatment which has established a role in patients with disseminated cancer. So we have the, uh, different examples in which, uh, uh, in, in the scenario of synchronic metastasis, the, uh, the treatment of the primary may help to prolong survival. There is very good evidence in renal, in renal cell uh, tumors in which by resecting the, the primary tumor we, uh, and with system, combine it with systemic treatments, we prolong a median overall survival from eight to 11 months or in a different study from seven to 17 months just by resecting the primary tumor. Also, there is a indirect evidence in prostate cancer, not with metastatic, but with high risk feature. There are two studies in which the randomization was the local treatment, radiotherapy. And by adding radiotherapy, there is a prolonged in the results by means of uh, progression, uh, by PSA progression free survival. This is coming a very uh, deep uh, investigation in prostate with metastasis and breast with metastasis. At least there are coming six randomized trials in which, try, in which we try to um, demonstrate that, that by doing local treatments in metastasis, we may help to prolong survival. I'm gonna focus now a little bit on metastasis in the breast cancer scenario. So this is, well, a proportion of patients from three to 7% of all new breast cancers. There is a substantial number of women that may be affected by this. And in this group of patients, they were all treated with primary systemic mortalities, but there was no uh, role for the local treatment only, only in terms of palliation. So we try to see what are the results, and this is a review of, the, of a big database, 3,000 uh, 3, patient, 3, patients. They found 37% that in which they underwent surgery, and what they found is that breast surgery was associated 
with an increased uh, survival and a decrease of uh, death. So the surgical resection of the, of the primary breast tumor was independently associated with a survival advantage. So by doing only surgery, we help to prolong survival. This information is not only from retrospective uh, studies, and also comes from big databases coming from the National Cancer Dataset, Geneva Cancer Registry, MD Anderson, and from the MGH or Brigham in the United States, in, in which all uh, they showed a mortality decreased when they did the primary uh, treatment in the scenario of metastasis. Most of these could be related to a, to a selection bias, so it's not every patient, uh, every patient may benefit from doing a primary treatment in the scenario of metastasis, and also it's very important which patients may benefit from this in the future. There are also information from systematic reviews that surgery helps to decrease mortality with metastasis, and also there is one study in which they, they was, it was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology in 2009, in which by doing also uh, only radiation in uh, the scenario. When I say radiation, local radiation, it helped to uh, increase survival. And this is the curves in which they show by doing local radiation therapy improved survival in the scenario of metastasis. The only problem that we have is that there is only two randomized trials published, not in, in, in forms of uh, abstracts, not in forms of papers but they did not, were, they did not uh, were able to find that the addition of a local treatment in metastasis helped uh, for the survival. There was one study coming from India, one study from, from Turkey, in which the local treatment did not help. So it is very important to select patients in order to see a benefit in, uh, in this scenario. The latest evidence that we have um, by doing local treatment in, in, in extensive disease comes from this uh, CREST study in, 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 non -small, in, sm in small cell lung cancer. They randomized chemotherapy plus cranial irradiation with thoracic irradiation. So the use of thoracic radiotherapy uh, confirmed the benefits in patients with any response to chemotherapy showing that Small doses, because they were not they were not treated with, with high doses. They were 30 grays. The two-year benefit rate of 10% for patients which received thoracic radiation. So, in the scenario in which they received chemotherapy, cranial prophylactic cranial radiation, and thoracic radiotherapy, there was a two-year benefit in this uh, disease, and the survival for the thoracic group. Thoracic radiation group was 13% versus the control group, which was 3%. And also, by doing this, also they showed a 50% reduction in thoracic failure. So, in a disease in which is well known that has overt metastasis, by doing local treatments, cranial radiation and prophylactic, uh, prophylactic cranial radiation and thoracic surgery and, and thoracic radiotherapy, demonstrates a clear benefit in overall survival. And also what they, see, the, what they saw is the different patterns of failures. So this is the first group in which they, it, this is the control arm in which they do not have thoracic radiotherapy. And the patterns of failure that they found that the main pattern of failure in these patients was the thorax. When they did and when they show the patterns of failure in the second group in which thoracic radiation was done, the thoracic failure was uh, decreased. So it's very important to know that the disease appears to progress in, all, in those places in which there is a, a previous uh, disease. So the next question was, what do we do in ologometastasis? So do we need to consolidate once we have a response or once we have oligometastatic disease? So this is a very old paper coming from the last, uh, from the last century, and in which they saw that by, and they tried to consolidate with radiation in patients treated with breast cancer and high dose chemotherapy. So the patterns of failure with or without radiation in was if they did 
uh, in, in a previously involved site without radiation, 62 of these patients failure. But once they did radiation, decreased to uh, 30%. So it was a reduction of 50% in a previous involved site. So it's very important to consolidate with radiation in places where the disease was previously involved. And this is the result that the group that received radiation did have a better survival. So what is the rationale for doing this? There are different uh, um, objectives. The first of all is doing radical treatment, is to cure that metastasis. This may delay systemic, tre systemic treatment. This is really important. If we do a, a local treatment, we may delay the next step. So these patients may have a better quality of life. It may prolong. This is something that we have to demonstrate, prolong survival. And also there is coming a new information that these local treatments over metastasis may help the immunity to react against the tumor and against different uh, sites that it, they have not been received any systemic treatment. So why uh, as BRT? We have seen before that we have very nice results in early stage cancer. These are the different names that we have. This is why we, we prefer to do SBRT, because now we have precision, we have new technology, there are different platforms in which can, we can deliver, deliver very high doses with high precision, cyber knife, tomotherapy, through beam, electa. The different machines may help to do the same treatment. We have image guided, so with this it means that we have control of the tumor during the treatment, and also few fractions, one to eight fractions. So a classical a conventional treatment lasts for 30 days. Now with one to eight fraction, we can achieve high local controls, 80 to 90%, with low, profit, uh, low toxicity profile as we have seen before. So this is everything cost effective. This is how we do it. We use the Savernar platform to do. We can treat very small lesions very close to uh, very uh, sensitive organs, delivering very high doses with very low doses to the normal organ tissues. This is well systematic review based only in breast, in which there are different options, but also as well very high uh, local control rates. This is a review in the of the literature showing the same. So high local control rates, all of them is not showing here, but with, with very low toxicity profiles. And also this is coming to come to a next step in which randomized trials will have to demonstrate that doing uh, up from stereotactic radiotherapy may help to prolong survival or to, to delay new treatments. So finally, the primary tumor is a target in metastatic cancer. This is something that uh, we uh, have to know now for the future. The local therapies pri at the primary may delay the progression of systemic disease and prolong overall survival in patients with disseminated disease. Adjuvant as BRT, stereotactic radiotherapy over oligometastasis produces high local control rates with low, low toxicity profile. So we have now long-term survivors. This is encouraging, but we need randomized trials to prove this. So you are always uh, very, very welcome to Madrid if you want to come to see how we do things there. Thank you very much. Очень интересное сообщение взволновало зал. Спасибо. Вот один. Очень интересный доклад. Very nice technique. Uh, как, uh, о, а сейчас как слышно? Очень видно, хорошо. Прекрасный доклад. Uh, вопрос uh, больная, больная uh, рака молочной железы uh, синхронной метастазы. Uh, 
проводится, проводилась химиотерапия. Вот вы облучаете только первичный очаг у молочной железы, всю железу, или же, вот ваше мнение, либо рекомендуете облучать еще и имеющиеся метастазы в, зоны, в зонах регионарного метастазирования. Это первое. Второе в дополнении. Значит, вот надо проводить лечение больным, которые ответили на химиотерапию, или очень хорошо, либо вот всем подряд. Надо брать э, вот для такой терапии больных э, с небольшим количеством метастазов только одного органа, например, костей. Либо когда есть головной мозг, кости, печень, вот, и, ну все, что есть у человека. Вот ваше мнение. Спасибо. So, to the first question. Uh, when you can treat both uh, when uh, when I'm speaking about the primary in the scenario of metastasis we do the treatment of the primary tumor it can be done by surgery this is a regular surgery that it should be like in a patient without metastasis or you can do with radiations once you do radiation you can do to the you treat to the demonstrated disease, so this is the primary and it has local, local regional metastasis as well, you treat them as well. Okay. So you do the local treatment as it could be done in a woman without metastasis. So which patients do we select? We select, I think, the best ones, okay, the ones that have a good response to chemotherapy in which they have a good expectancy of life. You are not going to treat the patient in which chemotherapy has not worked, and then you treat the primary, okay? So, in the third question, when you treat uh, metastasis, we started treating one organ, lung, liver, okay? But now there are series of patients treated with SBRT in which we can combine two different sites. So, there are people that is treating right now liver and lung at the same time. The, the problem is not the site because the results are going to be very good. The problem is which patients do we have and if this patient is going to benefit of that treatment. But it doesn't matter if you have, if you have one lung metastasis and one liver metastasis or two lung metastasis. Следующий доклад.